Alda Naked here with another Destiny video, and this is the Daily Heroic Story for today, December 27th, and it is Chamber of Night, which is one of the year one stories on the moon. And essentially what we have to do is work our way through the tunnels and the chambers in the high fortress and kill a bad guy. Or a boss. Urgent transmission incoming on all channels. From a speaker. Nothing. A little bit of an involved uh, loading scene here. The Hiver engaged in a ritual that is draining the traveler of its light. Whatever power they wield must be understood. Okay. For those that don't remember, the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, map the tunnels in two spots. The first one being right about here. Handy little waypoint there. And of course the second one being quite a ways away. Make sure your ghost is actually scanning before you take off. Now this is a public area, so sometimes we'll have a lot of guys down here and we have to deal with a lot of falling. Sometimes we won't. Well, on this particular run, I was just I just had to deal with this sniper right above me. I am using my uh, Halo Supercell, DC Halo Supercell automatic as my primary, just for grins. A scout rifle or a pulse rifle would do just as well. And I'll be bouncing between a shotgun and a sniper as my special weapon. And I've got my super duper heavy machine gun as my heavy weapon. My hero and Terminus, whatever, whatever the name is, anyway. So now we're off to Crota's Temple. don't get any shorter again this is a public area still uh, when we make this left turn here sometimes there will be a knight and a bunch of uh, dregs but uh, it looks like that one guy in the area clean something clean them out a bit all right so down we go towards the temple let's get out in the open have a better chance of locking this and this cutscene coming up is actually the one where we see the uh, the stranger but I am not going to uh, I'm not going to play through the entire cutscene I just want to get the mission done first up is an ogre now yeah, that's why it is Probable that we could just rush past this guy. I'm just testing out my uh, supercell on him, that's all. Now we should have some some thralls coming up along with acolytes and uh, a couple of knights and a wizard, I think. Oh! He spawned right in front of me. That caught me a little bit by surprise. Oops. We both missed. Okay. There's the wizard. With a light level of 307, I believe it's 307 on this uh, on this uh, supercell. Uh, it cuts through these guys pretty easily. The 
So it's a pretty good uh, close up and medium range gun. Would not want to use it at long range. It also chains uh, enemies that are close together, so it's almost as if the uh, the fire, the arc fire, bounces off one into another, which is good when you've got a mob coming after you. All right, we're gonna have several knights here coming through the door. And they really are no match for the uh, supercell. Right. Plenty of ammo. And on down we go to the next chamber. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, why in the world do I have a shotgun up as my special? Let's switch over to the sniper. So we take out uh, these guys at distance. Yeah, where, where I'm firing now, that's probably the, the, uh, the extent of my effective range for this uh, primary. And as soon as I get down to one or two, ooh, where'd he come from? He's supposed to come through the door, darn it. Again, I got caught by surprise. I was expecting three knights to come through the door. Three of those cleaver swinging knights. But one of them just materialized right in front of me, or actually right behind me, so that caught me by surprise. Uh, we got one more guy up here, and I think there's a drop up here as well. Yep. Nope, he's down below me now. Okay, there he is. I possibly could have run through this a little bit quicker, but it's been a while since I've actually run this story, so... I'm not absolutely sure what to expect in every firefight. How many enemies and whatever. Some some places I do because they're more memorable. For example, there's a yellow bar knight up there firing crap at me. So my health was going down a little bit, so I figured it's time to retreat. Oh, that takes care of that. I think that was actually from yesterday. I just jumped there to jump up over the uh, exploding grenade. Figured if the thrall is running right at me, I, I get less damage by jumping up and over. Okay. Oh, that's a tough cookie up there. Taking multiple shots to take him down. Those are those. Okay, there we go. Those are headshots. But he's down. And I might have a couple of acolytes up here. Okay, we're getting close to the final area, so I was really hoping to see drops of heavy, but uh, I didn't, so I had to burn a synth. And you'll get a chuckle because uh, when we finish up this uh, initial part of this room down here, there'll be uh, there'll be some heavy dropped, I believe. Okay, three witches, wizards, take them out with a sniper. 
One, two, and come on, number three, where you at? Here's number three. Boom, three wizards are gone. All right, and we'll have some thralls and, ex and uh, cursed thralls or exploders, so you know what I meant by the heavy there. We'll have some cursed thralls and thralls come through that door. If you can take out a cursed thrall when he's around all a bunch of other thralls or enemies, then you take them out too, because he'll explode. All right. After the acolytes come out, then uh, several knights will. One's a boomer, and at least one, maybe more. All right, back to shotgun. As it turns out, I don't think I ever really used the shotgun. I could stay just far enough away that I could take these guys out with my uh, auto rifle. Here. And that's how they're chain it's chaining a little bit. It's almost like the uh, fire is ricocheting off one into the other, which helps weaken their shields. I don't know if you saw that or not. But it's only when the enemies are close together when you get that perk or that benefit. Okay, here we go. Here's the final, uh, the final push, if, if you will. We'll have thralls and exploding thralls, acolytes and a wizard coming out, and then the big boss, big bad ogre. Notice how they all exploded when one of them did. There's the wizard. Whoops, he got there pretty quick. Now I'm jumping there just to jump out of the way of his uh, sword, or his knee cleaver, whatever the heck that thing is. While I was reloading so that I have full clip when uh, he, when I drop down in front of him again. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up a couple of acolytes here, and then the big boss is going to appear, and I'm going to I'm going to take him out with my heavy machine gun. That's a light level 320, so uh, it, it cuts him like butter. There he is. Let him get in the room. Don't start firing until you see the yellow bar pop up. And that takes care of the boss. And then once you got the boss down, then the, uh, any, any other bad guy in the area will despawn. And before we uh, go uh, check out the uh, shard up there, I'm going to run around here and grab uh, whatever dropped for me. And then we'll deploy the ghost. We'll get a little bit of a speech about the shard, about the traveler shard. And then that'll be the end of the mission, and I'll get my 15 legendary marks, which is what you get for a daily heroic story, it's unless it's glitched. But apparently today's story's not glitched, because I did get the marks. There we go, there's my marks, there's the end of the mission. And there, ooh, nice jump. No real reason to stick around. So we'll go back to orbit. I do hope this helps you in your quest for today's daily heroic story, Chamber of Night. This is Olden signing off. Take care, everybody.